Hey there, speculators. It's Rod, your Futures Fanatic. Welcome back to the Futures Fanatic channel here on YouTube. That's part of TDG, the Traders Dev Group, where I provide uh, financial education for active futures traders and self-directed investors. But remember, all and everything that we do here is just for entertainment and educational purposes. Okay, today I want to do a little quick series on tips and tricks on Ninja Trader, and the reason for that is that um, a bunch of the prop trading firms that we work with, futures funding programs, which I talk about here a lot, uh, many of them are using uh, Rhythmic and their suggested platform is NinjaTrader. Plenty of information out there on NinjaTrader that you can find from both these programs as well as uh, looking at YouTube and the help from NinjaTrader. But it's a whole lot of platform and I've decided that I'll sort of start to throw in uh, my own little tips and tricks. And by the way, I'm also doing this tonight because a little bit of timeliness here. Um, if you have been looking at any of these futures fundings programs and following along with Apex, Trader Funding, which is a newer entrant, it's gotten very, very popular. I did a review that you can check out right here on the channel. They are ending their 50% discount on any program that's 50% off of your first month and every reoccurring month thereafter. So you may want to take action on this uh, if you're watching this in the next 24 hours. Now, I've heard that they might extend that, but why take the risk? So go ahead and grab yourself an Apex Trader Funding account. And then also you can use the links in the description below to get that code that will associate with you with uh, us here at Traders Dev Group, so you can also trade in our trade room for free when you sign up using our affiliate link. All right, let's talk about some tips and tricks. There was three or four things that came up during our trade room this week, and um, a lot of this is second nature for the, those of us who've been trading for quite a while, and many of us using NinjaTrader, but it occurs to me many people are brand new to NinjaTrader, especially when they start with these futures funding programs. So what we're first going to talk about is how you can get to your trade performance to take a look at how your week was. Now here at TDG, I do my best to just sort of drive home as often as I can. Not only no rush, no resets when it comes to these prop programs, but also um, to look at your weekly performance. Look at your weekly performance. Now, of course, we have to be aware of our risk on a daily basis, but we want to be looking at our weekly performance. So here's how you can pull all kinds of nice stats from uh, directly from NinjaTrader. So I know this will be a little small because I'm broadcasting my whole screen, but I'll do a little post-production. What you're going to do is you're going to grab the uh, control center here, and then you want to go to new and trade performance, okay? New and trade performance. That will bring up this window right here. The default will usually be to seven days from the current day. So what I'm gonna do is come in here and actually just make it for all of last week. So from the eight, Monday the 8th to, uh, come on, from Monday the 8th to Monday the 12th, excuse me, to Friday the 12th. Monday the 8th to Friday the 12th, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit generate, and you can see I've already done that. So the net profit for uh, for this account, but I'll show you how it's for every account that I have uh, that I've connected here is uh, is this right here, and you can see all the rest of the stats. Okay, so again, it is new, and then trade performance will get you to this particular area here. Another really quick tip: all these um, these windows, if you just right click and go to properties, that's kind of your friend. If you want to increase the font size, I made this font a little bigger and I made it bold. People ask me how I do that, so just right click properties, go to the font. If I actually do it, I won't do it here, but now what? why don't we do it? Try to keep these under 10. I don't want to do it because I'm straining my machine here. All right, so here you can see the grid fonts right here, Arial 15, and you're good. All right, so there you go. Now, you can um, find all the stats here. You can also right click when you're in this area right here. You can export, as you can see, and you can um, edit other properties in terms of what your trade performance is right here, but it's pretty straightforward. Now, one thing I did want to point out after you've filtered for the, uh, for the week, you also may want to come over here and take a look at uh, what accounts are included. So I have a multi-broker license, which is not a, a license that a lot of people that will ha will have if you haven't um, actually purchased the software, which you do not need to do when you're going through these funding evaluations. They will give you uh, access to a simulated a sim license. It's not a full featured license and it's not a multi-broker license, so there are some drawbacks to that. Um, but once you decide to make the leap with Ninja, you'll have what's called, most people will select a multi-broker license. You can actually connect to a lot of different backends and different data feeds. So the performance that you're seeing here is actually the result of these five, uh, four or five accounts here. In fact, I unchecked Sim 101. I didn't do any, I did like one little demo trade, which I'll do another demo trade here in just a second. Um, so what I'm gonna do is um, unclick this and unclick this right here. And now what I'm gonna do is generate it again, and it made a small difference, so like $40. So the majority of these uh, the trades this week were in 
yet another uh, futures program. This one's actually a, a funded or performance account from this particular firm. And I'll probably blur these various things out here. But anyhow, that's how you get to uh, trade performance. Make sure you filter um, the right uh, time frame that you're looking for and make sure that you filter the right accounts if you happen to be connecting to uh, to multiple uh, to multiple accounts all right so that's that there perfect all right the next thing that's really important is you want to set your commissions when you're going through these programs or if you ever use ninja it's good to set commissions so that even if you're doing completely simulated trading it's good to understand what the transaction costs are because transaction costs are a big part of futures trading unlike the stock market which has gone to virtually no cost for uh for equity trading and even for some options trading stock market uh, futures market still does have um, somewhat significant co um, commissions and transaction fees associated with it so you want to estimate those as best you can um, the futures funding programs all of them will have their own uh, help file help articles on how to do this but here's how you do it you just come to your accounts, right? So make sure you have the accounts tab uh, selected right there. By the way, your um, your columns uh, and rows may look a little bit different. Uh, the way you set that is you just go right click and go to properties and you can select whatever uh, properties you want here. You can see that it defaults to, um, well, I've checked a lot of them off, but trust me, it defaults to a lot of stuff that you just don't need to see. So I've just um, simulate, uh, simplified it down just to total commissions and a little bit of realized uh, profit and loss. So that's another thing. Remember, it's always right click in the window, go to the properties, and you can sort of uh, tidy up your room the way you want it. So to set the commissions though, you're gonna click on the actual account that you're, you're doing here, and you're gonna right click then, and after you right click, you're going to go to edit account. And from edit account, you're going to see this come up, and the function here is basically just setting the commissions and the forex lot size the forex lot size doesn't apply here so under commission i'm going to select ninja broker lifetime now what you probably want to select if you're going through one of these futures funding programs is more like ninja broker direct or ninja broker lease because that'll be closer to the uh, the commissions that um, they're probably using and calculating all right so but if as long as you set some commissions it'll be pretty close most of the programs are uh, around two dollars and fifty cents per mini contract, so that's five dollars per term per contract, and the micros are somewhere around I think fifty to eighty-five cents. It depends. So you can actually go in here and set the commissions. I'm not going to go into that in this particular video, but you can actually set your own commissions to be exactly what the commissions are from the program. Um, or if you are actually trading a live account with Ninja, select whatever is the type of uh, platform that you have. If you bought the lifetime license, select that because that's the commissions you'll be, uh, you'd be charged there. All right, so that's that. Um, and then the only other thing I wanted to touch base on here, another little tip, this is completely unrelated to performance or to setting commissions, but it's come up quite a bit and that is how to set OCO orders. So I'm in this chart down here on the right hand side and let me just come here and I will go to Sim 101. And yeah, it's just, that's fine. We'll leave it like that. Now, one of the f really great things about Ninja is it has, it has advanced order management. I'll probably do some more on that um, on the channel here. And you can create your own what's called ATM or advanced trade management stra um, uh, settings, templates that will control every aspect of the trade management once you're actually in it. The stop, the target, it could trail, it can use a bunch of other different kind of cool logic. Um, I don't typically trade with those, um, but occasionally I will set what's called an OCO order after I'm in an order, which is an associated order for a stop and target. And there were some questions on how to do that. So here's how you do it. First of all, you have to have the chart trader open. The chart trader is right here, um, uh, this icon right here. Uh, so you need to be a little bit familiar with how to get that chart trader open. But if you see something here on the right, you want to select the account that you're actually trading. Like I said, I'm going to do this here in a, uh, a SIM trade and I'm gonna actually first just get in the trade. So I'm gonna do what I never do, which is just sell market. Order okay, so that gets me in the trade. Now I wanna put some associated orders on here. Let me just make this, put this chart in like kind of the middle of the screen here. So it's a little bigger and you can see it a little bit better. There we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna right click inside this chart area here and I'm gonna select OCO. As soon as I do that, it, it's weird, it goes away, so it doesn't stay there. I have to right click again, and you'll see that now 
these orders are going to be OCO uh, type orders. So let me go ahead and actually, since I'm short, I'm going to put a buy stop up at the top. Order submitted. And since I want to put a target down here, I'll put a buy limit. Order Once submitted. those orders are in, what I do, just so that I don't get confused on the next order, is I'll right click again and hit OCO and turn it off. So now if I go ahead and sell this level here, which is VWAP, this is an independent order up here. All right, so I have stops and targets. These are um, associated orders that one will cancel the other, but I can move them independently, okay? So I can move them independently. So now if I were to just drag the buy stop into price, watch how the buy limit at the bottom is actually gonna disappear, right? So I'll just drop that there. Well, you can't really do that, sorry. Can't do a buy stop like that. Order filled. Okay, so hit target there, if you will. The, um, the stop was removed and yet this sell limit is still up here uh, working right there, okay? So that's how you do it. Again, pretty simple, Canceled. right click, OCO. All right, I like to always just go through exactly what I covered here really quickly. So uh, the first thing we did is talk about trade performance. You're gonna go to new, you're going to go to trade performance and that will bring up the trade performance screen that we looked at before. You wanna set your commissions, especially if you are going through one of these evaluation programs and trading pretty actively, your, tra your commission costs will be a big part of, um, of your overall trading costs, you wanna know what they are. So you're gonna click on accounts, right click and go to edit account, set your commissions and you're gonna set your commissions to uh, Ninja Broker Direct or Ninja Broker Lease. That'll be pretty close to the proper commissions. And then finally, we talked about, uh, about right click and OCO is going to get you done for placing associated orders. All right, that'll be it for tonight. If you find this content useful and helpful, it does help me out a lot and I think it could help other uh, speculators and traders here on the interwebs find out more about futures by finding the futures fanatic channel you just uh, like the video uh, subscribe turn on the bell notification all that good stuff if you're not yet a subscriber to the futures fanatic channel and um, other than that that will be it for tonight and with the exception of reminding you that the apex trader funding which i'll put a link to below one of our favorite uh, funding partners to allow you to get access to capital to trade the futures markets has a 50 percent discount that may be ending on Monday, November 15th. So make sure you check that uh, check that link. And you can also then join us in our live trade room if you sign up using our link. That'll be it for tonight. My name is Rod, the Futures Fanatic, reminding you to stay green and trade like you mean it. Thanks. Mm -hmm.